Hello everyone, today I'm going to review another budget lens on the Nikon ZF, the Yogno 35mm f2 AF lens. This lens costs only $260. In this video I will also compare it with its closest rival in price, the Nikon 40mm f2. Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker and today I'm going to review the Yogno 45mm f2. For more reviews, subscribe! The build quality of this lens for the price is quite impressive, it is made from metal with a semi-glossy finish that fits the Nikon ZF perfectly. It has white engraved markings and the mount is metal not plastic like the one on the Nikon 40mm f2 and it also has a rubber gasket to protect it from dust and water. While the lens is not fully weather sealed, this can be helpful and it is a nice addition for a budget lens. You have a USB Type-C port for future updates, this is always good news. And on the left side it has a customizable function button that can come in handy. I use it to reset my focus point. Also on the same side you can see an AFMF switch. The focus ring is made from rubber and it feels nice and turns smoothly. And it is very nice to use. It can also be customized so you can change aperture with it or other settings. The lens hood is petal shaped and from a nice plastic, if you follow the channel you know how much I hate bad lens hoods. This is quite nice and fits the lens very well. The filter thread is 52mm, the minimum focus distance is 35cm, not bad but not the best, more on this later. The lens is pretty compact in my opinion and lightweight, 290 grams. The optical structure is 9 elements in 8 groups and it has 7 circular aperture blades. So far so good, now let's see how the autofocus performs. When it comes to photography it is fast and accurate, while using the lens these past weeks I missed just 3 shots and that was mostly my fault because I was in a hurry. When it comes to video, well surprise, it is very good, a bit slow but this mostly depends on your settings, with my preferred settings I was very pleased with the results. When it comes to focus breathing, this lens handles it very well as you can see here, videographers are going to enjoy this little lens. Now let's talk about image quality, starting from f2 this lens has good sharpness in the middle of the frame and good contrast. The corners are a bit soft but not bad, stopping down to f2.8 makes the center of the frame sharp with great contrast and slightly improves the corners. And at f4 the image quality is great from corner to corner. Stopping down the lens to f5.6 makes just a very small improvement over an already good performance. I think the image quality is great for $260, like some YouTubers like to say it punches over its weight. Now let's take a look at image quality at minimum focus distance. At f2 the image quality is a bit soft, stop down to f2.8 for an improvement and for very good sharpness stop down to f4. The bokeh of this lens is also very nice and the transition from in focus to out of focus is smooth. When it comes to flare I think this lens handles them pretty well, as you can see here you get some if you shoot directly into a powerful source of light. When it comes to chromatic aberrations you can see some on the edges of the frame at f2 but they go away if you stop down to f4, the same happens with longitudinal chromatic aberrations. Now let's take a look at image quality in the center compared to the Nikon f2 lens. At f2 both lenses look great but in my opinion the Yogno looks just a hair sharper. At f2.8 the same, the Yogno is just a bit sharper, it's hard to see a difference and at f4 the same. Tell me what you think in the comments below.
Overall, a very good performance in my opinion for a lens that costs only $260. It has great build quality, function buttons, partial weather sealing and good image quality starting from f2. What's not to like about this lens? So if you are looking for a bright well made 35mm I highly recommend this one, it is a great value for money. If this video was helpful subscribe, like and if you want to support the channel even more use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.